glass is in session. Glasses in session. What's up? 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 Get this a little bit closer. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Class is in session. Welcome to Stitches Mystery School, where you learn all the mysteries of the universe. What's up, what's up? This is Stix's Mystery School where you learn all the mysteries of the universe. My name is Stix and welcome to class. Yes, 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 welcome to class. I hope you guys are ready to learn because I am sure ready to teach. You feel me? So, I hope y'all are ready. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got 25 people in here. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and get the marker. And let's start off. First of all, what I want to tell y'all is all these, all of these lives, I always put them on my YouTube. So, and I'm going to start taking all these lives and put them as a podcast so you can watch them. All right, so cool. So Go ahead we can all we can all um we're gonna talk about growth right that is what we're gonna talk about today we are going to talk about growth right so a lot of you guys may be like what do you mean by growth right here we go let me show you so we're gonna talk about growth right and let me fix let me fix this so you can read it don't worry let me fix this nope that's the wrong one all right cool why is there a filter on me no, why is there a filter on me? Okay, cool. So we're going to talk about growth. Now, a lot of you guys may be like, Sticks, what do you mean growth? So with growth comes spiritual enlightenment. With growth comes spiritual awakening. Somebody said, I just got out of school. Hey, man, that type of school ain't actually going to liberate you. I'm actually here to liberate you, right? So the type of growth that we talk about is the growth within ourselves. How do we grow? How do we become that person that we want to become, right? So all y'all have dreams all y'all have goals all y'all have aspirations right you want to be a millionaire you want to be this you want to be that okay but that takes growth now some of y'all may be like okay so where are you getting to sticks right first of all i want to let y'all know that with growth there is a box right and this box is called comfort i need you to understand this because this is listen I need you to understand this because this is the truth of becoming who you want to be to get all the dreams that you want to have come to reality. This is the key, right? I only name it growth because growth is the simplest way to put it, right? So, again, let's talk about this, right? So, the only way you can grow is if you get out of this box of comfort no there is no homework the only way you can get out of this this is the only way you can grow is by getting out of this box of comfort so a lot of you guys may be like what do you mean sticks okay so let's think about this most of the people that you looked up look up to let's say millionaires right what do they do they work out they work out right you want to know why they work out because working out teaches you not to be comfortable. Let me tell you this. The only way you can truly be your greatest self is by stopping being comfortable. Right? Stop being comfortable. The reason why is because 
the more that you be comfortable, you don't want to do things that's outside of your comfort zone, right? Working out does not feel good. Working out does not feel good, right? So you're like, oh, no, working out. Like, what happens when you start to push and you start to work out? You start to feel that level of pain. That pain is called uncomfort, like uncomfortability, un uncomfortable, whatever. You know what I'm saying, right? So when you start to feel that level of I am not comfortable right now, then, then that's when you start to have growth. That's when you start to have growth. Because think about it. The only time that your muscles start to grow is when you are starting to feel uncomfortable when you're working out. Right? But my brain is trying to stop me from working out. No, 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 no. Your brain is not trying to stop you from working out. It's you that's stopping you from working out. Because your brain would actually love to work out because working out is good for you entirely. Right? So then you guys may be like, okay, so just working out. That's it. I just got to work out. Right? This is why I say people who have done sports in life usually end up becoming successful because sports teaches you not to be comfortable. And it also teaches you, because this is also what correlates with this, discipline. Right? Discipline. Now, as long as you have discipline and you're okay with not being comfortable, you will have growth, right? And your growth is going to equal out to all your dreams. Right? And if we wanna connect this to spirituality, let's think about this, boundaries. When you tell people, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't like that. That is uncomfortable, right? That is uncomfortable to tell somebody, hey, I don't like that. Hey, to speak up about yourself, it's uncomfortable, right? But the moment that you break out from that box of comfort and you say, you know what? Let me tell this person, no matter even if it feels weird, let me tell this person, you're not making me feel comfortable, right? You have just grown. You have just grown to speak up for yourself. You have just grown to speak up for yourself, right? So a lot of y'all want to be millionaires. A lot of y'all want to be rich. A lot of y'all want all your dreams to come true, but... You need to realize that I do have a podcast. You need to realize that you will not become, you will not grow. You will not have none of your dreams if you keep trying to stay in this box of comfort. Right? A lot of y'all don't like other people, right? But you want to travel the world. You do realize that you got to get on a plane and sit next to somebody that you don't know, right? That may be uncomfortable. But once you start to understand, you know what? I can be comfortable being uncomfortable that is when you get the key of success that is when you get the key of success you think look at the millionaires you think it's it's comfortable to fire somebody you think it's comfortable to fire somebody you think it's comfortable to cut somebody off who's not treating you right you think that's comfortable you think that's comfortable right it's not it's not it's not comfortable it's not comfortable it's not comfortable, right? So when you start to realize, oh my gosh, the only way I can have all that I have ever asked for, my dreams, right? My dreams, this is dreams right here. The only way I can have all my dreams come to reality is literally by being okay, not being comfortable. A lot of y'all wanna help people in and speak to people and things like that. Why are you not comfortable speaking out? Why are you not comfortable speaking out to people? Thank you for the uh, donation. You have to start finding comfort and not being un and not being un not being comfortable, right? And the reason why is because nothing will be able to stop you. Nothing will be able to stop you. Period. That's why I always tell people to work out because working out will teach you. Working out will teach you that aspect. You feel me? Working out will teach you that aspect, right? So, now we're going we gonna to move on, right? We're going to move on. That's me teaching you about comfort. That's me teaching you about comfort. That's me teaching you about comfort, right? Now, let's talk about making your dreams come true. Let's talk about making your dreams come true because I'm going to teach you how to make your dreams come true. And if you really want your dreams to come true, I would recommend you write this stuff down. 
I would recommend you write this stuff down, right? Raise your hand or let me know if you want to be a moderator because we about to get deep. And I can already tell because we about to get deep, more people about to come in. So you already know with positivity comes negativity. So who wants to be a moderator so we can go ahead and get this going? Because I'm about to teach you how to make all your dreams come true. I'm about to teach you how to make all your dreams come true. I'm about to teach you how to make all your dreams come true. I'm about to teach you how to make all your dreams come true. Real life. Real life. Real life. Okay, so here we go. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting I'm getting moderators. Hold on. Hold on. We about to get we, we about to get real. We about to get real. Hold on. Hold on. Dang, y'all typing fast. Y'all typing fast. All right, cool. See, everything's about to start happening. So listen, I'm letting y'all know now. Every time that y'all see negative energy, put the evil eye Put the evil eye, the evil eye um, emoji. We about to get serious because I can already tell. Universe is like, we about to bring everybody to you. Go ahead, get your moderators right. All right, cool. So I put a few moderators right. Make sure y'all do what y'all got to do to keep the, to, to get the energy right, right? Anybody that you see being disrespectful that's not worried about the message, kick them out. Block them, mute them, do whatever you want. All right, cool. All right, so I'm about to teach you how to make all your dreams come true. Period, period. There is a certain formula that you got to follow, right? So, here we go. I'm going to put it. And, and dreams equal manifestations, right? Dreams equal manifestations, right? So, we're going to put dreams. And I'm giving you the formula. Dreams equal manifestation. So, if anybody's confused, right? How to make my dreams come true, Sticks. Yeah, Y equal MX plus B, literally, right? So, I'm about to let you know right now. With dreams and with manifestations, you first have to know what is the dream that I want. My moderators, where are y'all? Where are y'all? Where are y'all? Where are y'all? Hold on. Hold on. Where are y'all? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. We about to get serious because I see now y'all already... They rolling in. We about to get serious. We about to get serious. Okay, cool. So. I'm 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 trying. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. There's so many messages coming in. There's so many messages coming in. And it's not letting me. Alright, cool. Here we go. So dreams equal manifestations right i'm about to let you know so first of all the only way you can figure out okay how can i make how can i make my dreams come true how can i make everything that i ever want to happen how can i make this happen sticks how can i make this happen first of all you need to take it serious you need to take it serious you need to believe it all takes belief right first step is belief 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 you got to actually believe that it could even happen. If in the back of your mind, you're like, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, period. So you got to have the belief that, okay, cool. This is going to happen, right? So if you truly believe that what you want to come into reality can happen, you are already one step ahead, right? So after belief, you want to start with envisioning realizing and finding out what it is that you truly want right so once you find out right hold on let me just write down what 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 do i want and really ask yourself really ask yourself and sit down with yourself and say what do i want and make sure that whatever you are asking for like whatever you're manifesting you're not manifesting this out of ego out of lack so what this means is that oh you don't feel confident you're not confident in yourself so you're trying to manifest height or you're trying to manifest some type of thing just to make yourself feel good right no 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 right a lot of people are manifesting partners because they feel lonely exactly where are the mods <laughs> where are the mods where are the mods i'm about to take some of y'all off real 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 
I'm about to add some more mods. I'm about to add some more mods. Don't worry. Let me know who wanted to be a mod again so we can get this right. There we go. And please, if you are a moderator, please do it. Please do it. Because I'm letting y'all know. I'm letting y'all know that with the energy that we about to put in, they gonna wanna try and attack what we doing. I'm telling you. I'm trying to add you. Why are y'all not letting me add, dude? All right, cool. All right, cool. Here we go. If you are a mod, all you got to do is when you see negative energy, just remove them. That's it. Block them, remove them. That's it. All right, cool. So cool, right? What y'all need to understand is that you have to take this very seriously. There is no way you are going to be able to make everything. Like, look at me. I'm a living testament. Everything that I've ever wanted to manifest is happening right now. I'm talking to over 200 people. So I know how to manifest. I know how to manifest, right? So I'm going to teach you how to manifest. And the first thing that I said is belief. You got to know. You got to know what you want. Even then, we're going to talk about belief. But the first thing is, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And if you want something, is it truly, is it truly, is it truly the right thing, right? Because a lot of people are wanting and a lot of people's manifestations don't happen because they are manifesting the wrong things. The key is you need to be co-creating. You need to be co-creating with the universe. Now, a lot of people may be like, okay, Sticks, what are you talking about? How do I co-create with the universe? Let me give you an example. Do you want to know why all out of all my manifestations, the one to teach spirituality is the one that really blew up? You want to know why? Because I was co-creating. The universe, the universe, literally all the universe wants you to do is to spread light and to experience, right? So when you start to say, okay, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. For example, right, a lot of people are manifesting, I want to be a millionaire, right? I want to be a millionaire. Thank you for the donation. I want to be a millionaire, right? But think about why are you manifesting that? Are you manifesting that just because you want to be rich? Just because you want, just because you want to have monetary wealth? Just because of that, right? You got to ask yourself, okay, what are you really giving to the universe for that? What are you really giving to the universe for that, Right? And the reason why I say that, the reason why I say that, the reason why I say that is because, let's take this for example. When I realized that I was manifesting things out of lack, instead of me manifesting money because, oh, I want more money, I realized that when I started to say, yo, I want to manifest money so I can go and build schools in Africa. That's why I truly want that's why I truly want what I want, right? So, and I'm gonna stop looking at the chat because it's, it's making me it's, it's making me lost, right? So let me teach you let me teach you the true aspect and what I realized that most manifestations happen when your intention is to literally use your manifestation for the higher good. My whole life is about giving to the light. My whole life is about teaching. My whole life is about making the world much more enlightened, much more awakened, right? So when I gained a platform, all I manifested was give me people that I can teach to, right? That happened in a week. You want to know why it happened in a week? Because the universe was like, you know what? Let me give you this manifestation because I know you are going to do right by it. I know you are going to help with the bigger picture because the bigger picture is to help people. The bigger picture is to teach the light. It's to teach the light. It's to have more light in this plane, right? So when you think about your manifestation, okay, you want a car. Why do you want a car? Why do you want this car? What are you going to do with this car? Why should the universe give you this car? Are you going to be on your purpose with this car? Are you going to be on your purpose with this car? Or are you just manifesting this car to literally please your ego? Oh, you want a Porsche. Why do you want a Porsche? So you can feel good about yourself on this physical plane? 
on his physical plane? Nah, bro. You want to know why I want to become a millionaire? First, I want to show people, I want to be a living example that you can have everything you want and never sell your soul. Second of all, another reason why I want to become a millionaire is because in Africa, I've learned all my, all my spirituality from Africa. Why in the world in Africa there are no mystery schools? Why are there no mystery schools? Why is that... All the people that the that United States looks up to, we look up to Albert Einstein, we look up to Nikolai Tesla, we look up to people like Socrates, and all these people learned in Egypt. All these people learned in the mystery schools, yet they tore down the mystery schools in Africa. I do have a YouTube account, and all these lives are going to be on my YouTube account. Also, make sure you guys check out my, my uh, crystal shop. I sell crystals. I sell crystals. Link in my bio, right? But for real though, bruh. Y'all getting all y'all information from Egypt and then y'all destroying schools. There's no, there's not enough schools in Africa. You feel me? So I said, you know what, bet. Let me build up this platform so I can spread more awareness. It's 200 people in, it's 200 people in here. Now, guess what? Imagine if after this live, the 200 people who learned from this go and use that energy to help one more person. 400 people have just been affected by positive energy. Understand the power of light understand the power of light what's a mystery school a mystery school is basically like what we're doing right now a mystery school in africa taught people about astrology it taught people about sacred geometry it taught people about spirituality it taught people about altars it taught people about the stars it taught people the truth right but guess what guess what they don't want you to know that but y'all looking up to nikolai tesla y'all looking up to albert einstein and these people went these people went literally to mystery schools and learned everything they could from egypt where y'all think buddha learned what he learned he learned it from egypt right so i'm like all right cool i know what i need to do and and for anybody that wants to who wants to really hear the truth bruh i had opportunities from music industry places such as rolling loud and i turned it down i turned it down you want to know why because it wasn't aligning with what i truly want to do what i truly want to do is spread the light and when y'all not moving on integrity and when y'all not doing things to truly help people, then I got to go. I walked away from an opportunity at Rolling Loud. And if anybody y'all know Rolling Loud, you'll know, bro. Walked away from it. You want to know why? Because I'd rather be on here teaching people. I'd rather be on here changing people's lives with, with, the, with the information because light changes people, right? And the whole point of this whole world is to free yourself from the bondage of darkness, right? Once you start to look towards the sun and you start to look towards the light, you will see yourself be transformed. Transformed. Everybody always asks me, Sticks, how are you glowing like that? How are you glowing like that? You want to know how I'm glowing like this? So the, so the sun has all seven colors of the spectrum, of the chakras, right? The purples, the blues, the yellows, but it shines bright golden, right? You want to know? You want to peep that? So when my chakras are aligned, my aura starts to shine bright golden. That's why it's important to align yourself. People always want to say, oh my God, this person walks in and they got, they got, uh, they got so much energy. They got some, it's not because of what they look like. How many people you saw that looked pretty on the outside, but actually was negative energy or was darker. You couldn't even be around them. I'm telling you, right? But when that one person walks in and that energy fulfills in the room, it's the energy that fills the room, not the face not the face not the face right so that's why it's important to understand that's why i tell people y'all always ask how can i be more attractive how can i be more attractive once you heal yourself you are going to exude an energy that's like oh my god oh my gosh you are beautiful you want to know why because this person is glowing this person is glowing this person is glowing right so back to what do you want ask yourself is what you want just pleasing your ego or is it actually co-creating with the universe? You want to be a millionaire? With, why? Why? What are you going to do with your millions? What are you going to do with your millions? Are you just going to be like everybody else who got millions? Who's literally driving in their Rolls Royce, driving past homeless people, not even trying to create organizations to help them? I'm not saying that you can't enjoy your millions, but what are you doing to give back? What are you doing to give back? The universe is going to put you at a place of, of, of this higher place. Are you going to use that? to help are you going to use that to help 
And when I realized that, when I changed my when I changed my perspective from, oh, I want to be the greatest artist in the world and win all these Grammys. When I changed my perspective from, you want to know why I want to win a Grammy? I want to win a Grammy to let somebody know that you don't got to sell your soul to win a Grammy. You don't got to sell your, you can literally be you. You can praise the light and still win everything that you want to win. You can praise the light and still go where you want to go. You don't got to sell your soul. Because I know a lot of people see all of these successful people and be like, nah, bro, they had to do something for it. They had to do something for it. But imagine you had that one person, that one person who, who had so much success as all these evil people and was praising the light. You would feel like you didn't have to do what they did. You would feel like you didn't have to sell yourself short or not be authentic. Because the truth is, you have to be authentic. You have to be authentic. You have to stand on your integrity. You have to have great morals. Understand that nobody, nobody was able to join the mystery schools unless, unless they had good morals. Right? Socrates was tested for seven years before he was able to even join the mystery school. Right. Because guess what? The mystery schools are giving you power. They're giving you the messages, the power of the universe, the secrets of the universe. You can't just give that to everybody. You can't just give that to everybody. I mean, look at it. Look at the higher ups. The higher ups got all the magic and didn't. And, and then they let us think that magic is not real. Magic is real. What do you think manifesting is? Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube because this video going to be on there. What do y'all think manifesting is? I can literally think about what I want to happen to reality and it's going to come. That's not magic. I can have dreams and I'm traveling through different universes, different dimensions, and you don't think that's magic? That is the secret. They lie to us about everything. They lie to us about everything. Magic is real. You are magic. Music is magic. Art is magic. It's transmutation. Alchemy is magic. When you literally take something, look, when you, it's called mental alchemy. Mental alchemy, when you're able to change yourself from a low vibration to a high vibration, that is alchemy. My YouTube is Sticks River. Link in the bio. Also, check out my crystal shop. Check out my crystal shop. Check out my crystal shop. Link in the bio, right? So, now it comes to co-creating, right? So now you don't figure out what I truly am supposed to do. And a lot of y'all need to literally do more meditation to figure out what is your real purpose. What is your real purpose, right? What is your real purpose? And what I mean by that is, who are you here to help? What are you here to do? Why, why are you here, right? I know my purpose. My purpose is to show people the light. Show people that the light can help you. The light can transform you. The light can take you to places that you never thought you could be. You are not here to sit here and just be a human and understand that you are a spirit. You are a soul living in a human body. Meaning that stop attaching to this body. A lot of y'all guys, y'all say y'all affirmations. Y'all be like, I am, right? But when y'all say I am, you're talking about this physical body, I am, right? And that's the thing. When, when, the, when the higher ups get you to believe that the physical body is you, then they start to sell you things. They start to make you think that, oh, you need this outside thing to make yourself look good. You need this outside thing to be amazing. You need this outside thing to do what you got to do. Oh, you want to be attractive? Go get some designer, right? Because they're thinking that this body this body is what you are when that's not true right stop using i am like this and think about it like this your third eye is the consciousness right if your third eye is the consciousness then it's really i am consciousness consciousness let me make this better let me make this better i am right so stop thinking that you are the physical body because you're not you're not the physical body you are the I, the consciousness that is within this body. You are the consciousness that is within this body, right? So even then, let's go back to let's go back to the manifestations, right? Let's go back to the manifestations because I truly want y'all to manifest all your dreams. I want you to manifest all your dreams. If you don't get it, then it wasn't for you, my guy. You can escape. If you don't get it, it's not for you. Whoever this is for, they know that this is for them because it's touching their spirit. It's touching their spirit. You may not be ready for this lesson. You probably got to go down to first grade again because right now we in advanced courses, right? All right, cool. So 
If you're co-creating, you're co-creating with the universe. You're creating what the universe wants you to create also. You're working in alignment with the universe. You can't be trying to manifest things that's not what the universe is trying to have as a overall plan. The overall plan is to get everybody enlightened, right? To get everybody enlightened, right? So ain't this crazy, right? When COVID hit, everybody was back at home. And when everybody was back at home, guess what happened? Everybody was with themselves. Everybody had to focus on, am, am, I, am I mentally okay? Let me take care of my body. Now everybody started to drink their teas. Everybody started to take their herbs. Everybody started to take care of themselves, right? You got to realize what COVID really was. COVID was a wake-up call. Why is, that, why is it that when COVID happened, everybody was on Twitter doing research? Everybody's seeing how all those higher people have actually been manipulating us. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. So then everybody started to, to change in that whole situation when everybody was by themselves. Because guess what? When you don't listen to the universe, when you are so distracted, you busy on work. You busy, you busy trying to make money, which is not even real. You busy, you busy at work. You busy trying to make money. You busy trying to do this and this and that, right? I'm going to tell you, it's going to come a time where you start to see all those all those favorite all your favorite celebrities are now starting to be spiritual you see diddy with 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 amethyst and sage bro i'm telling you spirituality is is on the rise spirituality is on the rise right so when covid came everybody was forced to literally reflect do you know what reflection is it's meditation when you are forced to be by yourself in your own home all you can do is think about what am i really doing with my life do I re how many people how many people started up businesses of their own? Thank you for the donation. How many people started businesses of their own? A lot of people, right? Because guess what? The universe literally said, I'm going to give you time to really hear what you need to hear. I need you to hear me and hear me clearly. Hear me clearly, right? So back to co-creating with the universe. You want to figure out what you want and really see if your manifestation is actually serving a higher purpose. Is it serving your purpose? Is it serving your purpose? Right? So when you find out, okay, this is what I really want to do. I want to create this business where I am making necklaces that will help people, you know, be more confident. Or You know what I'm saying? You find out your purpose, right? And once you start to find out your purpose, here is a key. Here is a key. Here is a key. You need imagination. Imagination. Now, let me tell you why imagination is important. Y'all remember that SpongeBob episode when he said, imagination. Yeah, yeah, that's a key. That's a key. Now, let me tell you why imagination is literally the key, right? Let me tell you why. So, imagination what do they tell you when it's time to manifest they say oh you gotta visualize you gotta visualize do you want to know why they say you gotta visualize your subconscious mind doesn't know what's real or what's fake because there's no such thing as real right why is it that when you had a dream for from a week ago when you're trying to tell somebody your dream you're like actually did that actually happen or was it a dream you want to know why because your mind doesn't know what's real because there is no such thing as real now if i ask you you're gonna be like if i say what's real what do we consider real you're gonna say well when i'm able to smell touch hear feel taste so you're telling me that if you have senses then it's real okay well in my dream i can see touch feel hear taste so doesn't that make my dream real and guess what with your imagination and visualization you're able to take those things that you want to happen and put them in your dreams so then doesn't that mean that it just became real doesn't that mean it just became real now this is why i say you need to be imagining right imagination is very important the reason why is because the reason why is because if you can see it you can be it if you can see it it can happen it can happen right it can happen so, and here's the, and here's how, this is how I'm about to tell you. This is how you know imagination is important, right? Do you know as a kid in school, they try to kill your imagination? Thank you for the donation, right? You want to know how I know that? Why is it that, why is it that they only have you reading words, right? They don't have you, these books that they give you, they don't give you no pictures in it, right? Stick with me. 
these books don't give you no pictures in it do you know that you have a brain that has two parts of it right it's a creative and a logical side so when they have you over logical it kills the other side of the brain your brain is no longer balanced right kids are so powerful do you want to know kid why kids are so powerful because kids please stop spamming because you're going to get blocked please stop spamming because you know what i'm saying now the thing is kids are so powerful because they are the closest to the source they are the closest to the source so that's why they literally attack kids look at Lil Nas X why do you think that when he was coming out with all of those roadblocks why do you think he was attacking the kids why do you think he was attacking the kids because the kids will literally you're starting them off young to believe what you want them to believe so then when they start to believe what you want them to believe they go through their whole life believing that kids are so powerful kids are so powerful right kids are so powerful and i've realized that i don't know how many times kids have done things like think about this right if anybody has ever done psychedelics right do you see how colorful everything looks when you're doing the psychedelics right do you want to know why now think about this think about this when you have these psychedelics you're able to to be so you're like oh you're like wow oh my god that looks like that that is a kid like mentality that is a kid like mentality a kid sees like that that's why you see a kid being so infatuated with grass they're so infatuated with with the marker because they're present kids not worried about what's happening in the future kids not worried about what happened a week ago they're like ooh, ooh. that's because they're present that's because they're present so when you start to when and think about it why do you think that most of the trauma is in your childhood because they know if they traumatize you as a child and you grow up with that you're never going to want to heal it because you're going to be like well that just happened to me as a kid no your childlike mentality also is where your creativity comes from so if they can kill your creativity and your imagination if they can kill your creativity and your imagination then your inner child is wounded you need your creativity to manifest you need your think about it you create your reality you create your reality so what happens when they kill your creativity what happens when they kill your creativity guys make sure you guys check out my crystal shop I sell beautiful crystals on there if you guys are wanting to get into your crystals. I sell beautiful crystals on there. Check out the crystal shop. Also, all of these videos are going to be on my YouTube, right? All of these videos are going to be on my YouTube if you want to watch them, right? So, when you understand the power of when you understand the power of your childlike energy, you'll realize, right? Why do you think Michael Jackson was such an amazing artist and dancer and creative? You want to know why? Because he was so connected to his creative, childlike mentality. Yes, these are definitely real crystals. These are definitely real crystals. The way that you can tell the crystals are real, real are by their weight and by their color. Are they pure? Are they super saturated? Right? Do you ship to the UK? I ship everywhere, baby. I ship everywhere, right? But let's think about it, right? I recommend y'all read the book Mastery by Robert Greene. When you start to realize that your curiosity, your curiosity is very important. It's very important. Yeah, y'all go ahead and get the crystals. Link in my bio, right? Your curiosity is very important. You know where your curiosity is, is, is stemmed from? Your curiosity is stemmed from your childlike mentality. The book is called Mastery, right? Let's think about some of the most smartest species. Robert Greene, yeah. Some of those, the most smartest species in the world right now, right? It's kids and it's cats what do kids and cats share they share curiosity they share curiosity right yep i'm gonna keep saying it right now the reason why the cats are so smart is because they're consistently trying to figure out things is that why they say curiosity kills the cat yes you know what i'm saying that's exactly why right but think about it you have to be curious in this life because you don't know nothing about this life you don't know nothing about this life. You think you understand the grass. You think you understand the trees. And me too. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I know everything. I know nothing, right? 
I know nothing. I am only speaking out of experience. And I don't tell you things for you to take what I say and to just live by that. No, because you got to remember, your perception is different from mine. I want you to take the information that resonates with you and then go research it and then go meditate on it. Go meditate on it and get your own perspective. Get your own perspective. And that's the difference. All these people, all these spiritual people on YouTube, they just want you to take what they say. Bro, you got you got me bit if you think I'm about I'm let me go research this. Let me go research this, right? Go research this because you know nothing. I know nothing. So you need to be curious. You need to be trying to learn, right? So go outside in nature and study because guess what? You want to know why ancient Egyptians were so smart? Let me tell you why. Because they were always curious about life. They were always outside staring at the stars, studying nature, watching. Look, why do you think that they have the scarab? The scarab is the uh the scarab is uh is the the morning, you know, the one that basically rises up the morning, right? How would they know that? By watching the animal, by watching the insect move and do what it do look watch really watch animals animals really watch animals thank you macho really watch animals and look at how they move with life right animals are very intuitive click the link in my bio and click youtube to find my youtube videos right animals are very spiritual look at cats look at birds exactly right so when you start to realize that you're like damn I need to be studying the universe more, right? So, when you look at the stars, right? Everything is as above, so below. If y'all ever looked at the water, have you ever looked at the water and saw a reflection, right? Now think about this. The water is blue, the sky is blue, and when I look at the water, the water can actually reflect to me what is above it. As above, so below. As above, so below, right? Now, let's get back to imagination. Your meditation needs to have imagination, right? Because let me tell you this. A lot of people want to feel like, oh, but whatever I imagine is not real. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not real. I have an AC right now blowing air. You think I can see the air coming out the AC? You think I can see the air coming out the AC? No, I cannot. But that doesn't mean it's not real. Your eyes can only see 1% of the spectrum, right? So when you start to imagine, when you start to imagine and you have an imagination, all you're doing is you're putting a mental image of what you cannot see maybe in this spectrum right now. Because guess what? There's When you manifest, you're manifesting, your manifestation, especially to some people who have trained themselves like psychics or whatever, they can see your manifestation. They can see the energy of what you're trying to manifest, right? And the thing about it is, the more you start to focus on your imagination and your visualization skills, you can manifest these things into a spectrum that you can see. That's why I always tell people, your manifestation is already here. It may be in a different dimension, but it's still here. You probably just can't see in that dimension. Right? So imagination equals visualization. Right? Because think about it, right? In your dreams, you're able to do things that you can't do here, right? Right? And I've already proved that your dreams are real, right? But in your dreams, you're in a different dimension. So you're able to see different things. You're able to feel different things. You're able to experience different things because it's in a different dimension. The astral projections, the dreaming, that's all in a different dimension, bro. Look at my artwork. This is for my project. What do I have open? The third eye. I live this truly by the heart this is my life i've seen it change my life i've seen it make all my dreams come true and the reason why i'm telling y'all is because i want to see your dreams come true i've seen what it did for me look at it look at this i'm talking to 265 people right now if that don't show you that my dreams are coming true that should let you know that your dreams can come true truly truly i am no different from you you're no different from me. If anything, we are actually the same. And the reason why you're resonating with me right now is because you see something in me that's in you. 
That's why you resonate with things. You can only resonate with things that are of you. We are all the same thing, right? And this is what I try to tell people, right? This is what I try to tell people. Because you need to understand that. You need to understand that we are all one. And I'm about to give you an example of why we are all one, right? So, you see this? This is water, right? This is water, right? But it's packaged differently. Yeah, it's packaged differently. But there's a whole element of water that is in the ocean, that is in the lakes, that is in the rivers, right? But it's all water, right? So if I go drink that water out this bottle or drink that water, it's still water, right? It's still water, right? It's still the same element, the same energy, the same essence, right? So why do y'all act like y'all so different from water? Because last time I checked, we are all still the same essence. No matter how different this water may be packaged from your water, it's still water, right? The same water is still in our body. It's still in the ocean. It's still in the sky. It's still water. I don't care if your water feeds you, my guy. It's still water. You can think that you're better because you're, you're packaged in Fiji, but you're still water. You're still water, right? So you may have you may have grown up differently. You may have grown up differently because you went through a different a different manufacturing system, right? Growth, parents, all of that. You went through a different manufacturing system, so you're labeled differently, right? You may look a little bit differently in a different bottle, but you're still water. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? And for anybody that's wondering why I'm yelling, let me tell you, my moon is in Aries, my guy. My moon is in Aries, so I'm very passionate, right? So then again, so then again, that lets you know that you are no different from me. You are no different from me, right? So the reason why you resonate with stuff with me is because you are me. And if anybody has read the four agreements, you understand that. You understand that. The only reason why you may not be able to see that you are me is because you have created physical smoke. You've allowed this universe to make you think that you're so different from me, but you're not. But you're not. You're not different from me. I'm not different from you. Anything that I manifest, you can manifest. Anything that I want to make happen, you can make happen. You want to know why? Because you're still born with energy. You are still a soul. You are still a spirit. You are still one with God. That's why people tell you, you are a God. Because it's literally one essence. One essence that has divided itself into many ways so it can experience differently. I'm packaged different. You're packaged different. But we are still the same. It's called unity. It's called unity. Let's think about it like this, right? Let's let's put it, let's make it a little bit more realistic. Let's make it a little bit more realistic, guys, right? If anybody has played Sims, thank you, Macho. Is if anybody has played Sims, then you understand that, oh, I have control of this whole world, right? I have control of this whole world, and I'm able to create so many different characters. I can give that one a personality. I can make this one come from here. I can make this one black. I can make this one Asian. I can make this one white, right? But guess what? It's still you living through all those sins. And the reason why you created the sins is so you can see what would happen if I made these two people have a baby. What would happen if I made a doctor and the doctor lives in Cali and now he's corrupt and now he's this and what happens if he meets this person? All because you're just curious. You just want to see what happens. You just want to see what happens. This is a big Sims game. This is a big Sims game. And for some reason, the universe said, you know what? I want to experience as a black, queer, androgynous woman that lives in South Florida. And uh, let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens, right? Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? And it's so crazy because... People really be putting themselves on pedestals like you're any different from this person. Like, bro, bro, you're not different, right? In this essence, in this physical plane, you're, you're packaged differently. But in the core, in the root, we are brothers and sisters. We are one. We are the same essence. And when we start to believe that and we start to be like, hey, man, we're one. You get me? And even then, think about this. When you start to see people that you don't like, really ask yourself why you don't like them. Because guess what? The only reason why you see something in them that you don't like is because it's in you. But nobody wants to appreciate that. Nobody wants to say that. Right? Oh, you don't like this person because they do this. You want to know why? Because deep down, either you used to be like that or you're like that. 
and you don't like that aspect of yourself so you don't like that aspect in them that's why y'all twin flames you want to know why your twin flames be hurting so much because your twin flame is a lower reflection of you that's why it hurts so much because it's literally you hurting you so that's why it be the most awakening Everybody want to romanticize. Oh my God, twin flame. Oh my God, twin flame. Okay. <laughs> okay. Romanticize it and watch you get hurt because you're thinking that you're supposed to be with that twin flame forever. When in reality, that twin flame is actually showing you why you keep acting like this. You keep acting like this. It hurts. You want to know why it hurts? Because guess who can hurt you the most? You. Because you know your weak spots. That's why your twin flame hurts. You got to look at yourself honestly and be like, Dang, let me look at this twin flame. You know why there's runners and chasers? Because you're running from the truth of yourself. Why do you think people never want to look at their shadow? So a twin flame come, so you ain't got no choice. You may not want to reflect on your physical self, but guess what? Now you got a twin flame and you looking at this twin flame like, dang. I love you, but dang, why you act like that? And then you got to sit there and you learn, oh my God, the reason why you're acting like this is because you are me, there's a difference between twin flames and soulmates. I don't think soulmates would be a thing if twin flames was who you're supposed to be with. Listen, at least for me, let me talk for me. I'm not supposed to be with my twin flame because my twin flame is just a way of learning. It's just a way of teaching me about my lower self, the lower energy of myself. I realized, oh my God, the reason why you keep annoying me here is because this is actually annoying me about myself. Yes, twin flames hurt. Twin flames hurt, but guess what? I have a soulmate and my soulmate feels very light. It feels, it feels like real love. Mallory, you're a moderator. You're, ma you're a moderator yourself. You feel me? But yeah, man, twin flames do hurt. And if your twin flame, if you're saying, oh, this is my twin flame and it doesn't hurt, then that's probably not your twin flame, my love. That's probably not your twin flame. That's probably not your twin flame. And everybody want to romanticize. Oh my God, twin flame, twin flame. No. Uh, no, baby. Twin flames are not what you think it is. Twin flames are not what you think it is. And this is just the truth on facts. My twin flame taught me how to love myself. And I will. And listen, when you go through pain, do not be upset because you're going through pain. Don't be like, I regret going through this. I wish I never went through this. I wish I never did this and this and that. No, 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 no. You need to be grateful. And, I'm ha and I have a song called Grateful for the Pain. You need to be grateful for the pain that you went to, right? Because the reason why is that when you're grateful for the pain, then you actually can learn about it. You can actually learn from it. You can actually learn from it, right? But when you keep trying to, no, I hate that I went through that. I hate it. You ain't never going to learn, baby. And the only way you can truly see if you learn from something is to see if am I grateful for it, right? Because when you, when, you, when you leave a situation that really taught you something, ask the question. When you leave a situation that actually taught you something, you'll be like, damn, bro, that hurt. But I'm so glad I learned this and this and that. Can you say something more about soulmates? Listen, soulmates will trigger you too, right? But soulmates trigger you in a positive way. This is what I mean, right? The soulmate will see something in you and be like, hey, man, I don't like the way you be like communicating. Like the way you're communicating isn't like, you know, it isn't right. Your soulmate is going to be healthy. And then you're going to be like, oh, da, 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 da. you're going to feel triggered by it. But truly and honestly, your soulmate is just making you aware of something that you have to work on. Your soulmate is going to feel healthy. Your soulmate is going to feel like, like, man, this is, this is, I'm supposed to be doing this with you. Your soulmate isn't supposed to be you. Because why would you want to date yourself? How do you grow? How do you grow by dating yourself? How do you grow by dating yourself? Right? The way that you grow is by having a person outside of yourself that can show you. That can show you. Right? A person that is literally, a person that is literally maybe even healthier than you. Soul ties are real. Soulmates, here's the thing. Soulmates, I feel like soulmates, they, everybody's a reflection of you. Don't get me wrong. 
soulmates are a definitely a, a everybody's a reflection of you but your twin flame is a mirror like your twin flame is a mirror like it literally feels like you are talking to yourself here's the difference between twin flames so most of the time your twin flame is going to be somebody who is a lower vibration mirror of you period period your twin flame is not going to be healthy your twin flame is probably going to be toxic your soulmate is a reflection of your higher you exactly you know you know macho right and don't get me wrong, your twin flame, you should be very appreciative of them, of them because they're going to teach you so much about yourself that you kept running from. That you kept running from. Make sure you guys check out my crystal shop, link in the bio. Link in the bio, right? But understand, y'all. Listen, don't get so attached to, listen, listen. Do not get so attached to soul ties, soulmate, this and this and that, this and this and that. Just be just be because i feel like the moment that you start to talk about that people just get so so wrapped up in what they want to believe just be and just understand who is for you and who is not for you who is helping you and who is not helping you period because i don't want y'all to confuse yourself i don't want y'all to confuse yourself you can't have multiple soulmates and one twin flame i definitely agree with that somebody said can you talk about dreams yes i shall definitely talk about dreams I shall definitely talk about dreams. Now, a lot of y'all need to and a lot of y'all need to know that y'all have abilities in y'all dreams that, for example, y'all dreams be trying to tell y'all what your soul your okay. Let's let, let, let's get this straight. Let's get this straight because it's about to get serious. Because dreams is my forte. Dreams is my forte, right? Dreams is my forte, right? Now let me tell you why I say that. So, your dreams are directly connected to your subconscious mind, right? right let me move the let me move the board let me move the board right so your dreams are directly connected to your subconscious mind right what people need to understand is that your subconscious mind is literally the one mind of the universe that's why some people not even some people that's why all people why do you think you have so many thoughts this video is going to be on my youtube why do you think you have so many thoughts you want to know why you have so many thoughts? It's because it's your subconscious mind. And everybody is connected to the subconscious mind. That's why, that's why most of the time, y'all be hearing other people's thoughts. Why do you think they always tell you, oh, you got other people's thoughts in your head? You got other people's thoughts in your head? Because it's literally the subconscious mind. What do you think? Why do you think they say, oh, telekinesis? You could, you could telepathically, you could telepathically talk to people. What do you think that is? That's the subconscious mind. That's the subconscious mind, right? And I always talk about Twitter, right? A lot of y'all be reading people tweets, reading people tweets, right? And people are sharing their thoughts on Twitter. And when you're reading people's tweets, you're allowing their thoughts to enter your mind. So then you start to judge yourself with their thoughts. And this is why I tell y'all to meditate. And I'm going to talk about dreams. I'm going to connect it. But this is why I tell y'all to meditate so y'all can clear out everybody else's thoughts in your mind. If you don't understand, my guy, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. It flew over your head. It's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? So now let's talk about dreams, right? Let's talk about dreams. Exactly. Exactly, macho. How many times have y'all had a conversation and you literally can hear what the other person is about to say you can finish their sentence that's because thoughts are energy let's talk about ideas because ideas literally connect right ideas michael jackson understood one thing about ideas he said he told his guy yo we gotta go record this we gotta go record this um this song we gotta record this song the guy was like let's do it tomorrow let's do it tomorrow michael jackson said no if we don't do it tonight the idea is gonna go to prince now a lot of y'all may be like what are you talking about the reason why is because ideas are just thoughts too they are energy right so ideas flow through other people you're not the only one with the ideas the ideas are not even yours you are just an instrument right 
and the, the ideas come through the subconscious mind the subconscious mind is the one mind it's like the akashic records it's like the, the library it's like the library right so when you start to realize oh my god my subconscious mind is literally directly connected to the universe that's why everybody tells you you need to learn how to understand the subconscious mind the power of the subconscious mind because that's how they try to manipulate you that's how they try to manipulate you if they can if they can take their own thoughts and they can put it in the one mind right so let's say let's say right let's say this is the one mind right all our thoughts are in this one mind right all our thoughts are in this one mind if i can get a thought like a, a idea let's i'm talking like as if i'm a higher up so this is my idea that i want to plant into the world right this is the idea that i want to plant to the world let's talk about the song mood why are you always in the mood that's the song right that's the song right so they plant this this song in your subconscious mind and they put it in your subconscious mind so now it's floating around in your mind and that's all you keep hearing you don't like the song you don't even like the song but guess what they planted it in your subconscious mind how did they plant it into your subconscious mind they make you listen to it over and over again because programming I do have a podcast link in my bio i'm gonna put all these videos on my podcast programming right they program you so now what's your dreams if the all mind is in your subconscious mind and when you dream your subconscious mind is basically taking over then doesn't that mean that when you're dreaming you can get direct messages from the universe right right make sure you guys check out the crystal shop make sure you guys i gotta keep telling y'all Go to the crystal shop, go to the YouTube, and subscribe and do what you got to do. Because I'm going to keep coming harder. I'm going to keep coming harder to teach you all this, right? So your dreams. If, and a lot of y'all be like, a lot of y'all be like, um, why do they plan bad ideas? So they can control you, right? So a lot of y'all be like, well, Sticks, I can't remember my dreams. You need to stop smoking so much. You need to stop eating before you go to sleep. And you got to set intentions. You got to set intentions. So question, do you still believe in God along with the universe? Bro, they're the same thing. They're the same thing. They're the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, y'all got to realize the truth of what they're trying to do. When they put things in movies, like really pay attention to movies and really pay attention to what they're trying to put in your mind. Everything is subliminal. Think about it. Subliminal. Subconscious. Because the conscious mind is you being like, well, raise your hand. That's the conscious mind. Being like, raise your hand. Do what you, you control your conscious mind, right? But the subconscious mind, that's connected to the one mind. And then if they can access your subconscious mind, think about it like this. Your subconscious mind is like a printer, right? It's like a printer, a fax machine, right? So... Let's say you want to manifest a million dollars. Isn't it crazy how, isn't it crazy how when somebody buys a new car or like, let's say your mom just bought a, um, let's say your mom just bought a, a Range Rover, right? So now that your mom just bought a Range Rover, now all of a sudden, all you see is Range Rovers. Why all of a sudden are Range Rovers becoming so heightened in your life right now? Because it's been planted in your subconscious mind now. So now your mind is strictly looking for those Range Rovers, right? Now what happens if you were able to go on that same printing machine, right? Because once you put a Range Rover in the printing machine, it's going to continue printing out those images. Printing out those images. Printing out those images. That's why it's important that the images, the ideas, the thoughts that you put in your subconscious mind is powerful and is positive. Because it's going to keep printing and printing and printing i know y'all saw that episode with spongebob inside his brain there was a whole bunch of files the subconscious mind right so when you plant positive stuff in the subconscious mind right so when i say affirmations i am powerful i am positive these subconscious affirmations i'm putting them in my subconscious mind and my subconscious mind is going to find that in life so I say, I want a G-Wagon. I put it in my subconscious mind. It's going to continuously print G-Wagons. Now, all of a sudden, all I see is G-Wagons, right? Because what you think about happens in reality. You see that? And that, that connects back to manifestation. 
if you can and i'm about to give y'all write this down write this down i'm about to give y'all the key to manifesting exactly what you want write this down right so when you figure out what you want you want to when you wake up and when you go to sleep when you're headed when your head is on the pillow right because here's the thing when you wake up you are in theta state right and when you go to sleep you are literally going to your dream world you're going to the fourth dimension right so when you are about to when your head is on a pillow and you're starting to fall asleep and you're envisioning your manifestation you're taking your manifestation directly to your subconscious mind right then when you start to actually dream about your manifestation bingo you didn't just brought your manifestation into your subconscious mind let's watch if you ever watch the movie inception you will understand the whole time they were trying to plant an idea in his subconscious mind what do you think that the elites try to do right and for my people that want to do dreams right i got i got two crystals left i got two crystals left for the best crystal to use with your dreams this is called dream amethyst dream amethyst link in my bio i have literally two left i have two left now the reason why i would recommend you i i have my own and i sleep with my dream amethyst but the reason why i would recommend this is because this is connected to the clear quartz and this is amethyst mixed together that's why this one is more powerful than regular amethyst because it's clear quartz and it's regular amethyst mixed together it's dream amethyst connected to your third eye and your crown chakra your third eye and your crown chakra is your consciousness where do you put it put it under your pillow put it under your pillow i sleep with my crystal under my pillow and you can look it up clear quartz and amethyst are the best for dreams you want strong visuals in your dreams get you a amethyst a, 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 um it's on my website i only have two left and i won't be surprised if y'all get on it and it's sold out a lot of my stuff been selling out lately right so listen 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 put this under even if you got your own amethyst if you got an amethyst just put it under your pillow the only reason why i recommend dream amethyst is because it's actually 600 times more powerful than regular amethyst why because clear quartz is very powerful and it's mixed with amethyst so you mean to tell me the main crystals for your third eye and your crown chakra are mixed together oh my god let me get that let me get that let me get that period period the best crystals to sleep with i just told you amethyst or clear quartz amethyst or clear quartz link in my bio right and another thing right this is smoky quartz y'all need to understand that quartz is the strongest crystals ancient egyptians understood that right and i'm about to put y'all on to something i'm about to put y'all on to something right look at this and i keep telling y'all this in lives because it's new people new people right look at this shape right look at this shape this is in ancient egypt right do you know why they had this shape because this at the point was able to take in the energy from the sun they were able to create electricity but in ancient egypt these shapes were actually built out of quartz out of quartz right and i'm not sure how to pronounce that. i think it's obelisk or obelisk right i think it's obelisk right so this is the shape right and these were what they used to take in energies you see somebody already just bought um somebody already just bought the crystals right so think about this right and i'm about to put y'all on to something so when you have crystals in that shape right because you got to understand sacred geometry is powerful so shapes are powerful right so look look at this right the shapes right i'm about to connect something for you look at these shapes right so at these points when you're using this because when i use these i point them i point them at my chakras to direct energy right I direct energy right think about solar panels when you have those panels the sun hits those panels and it absorbs that energy that's the same thing for these right now let me connect something to you you want to know how i know this is powerful why is this at washington dc think about that why is this a washington dc monument and it's by water and it's crazy because in ancient egypt they would put these into water and they would create electricity through it right and this is at washington dc you think that is just there for no reason 
You think it's just there for no reason? Think about the Big Ben. I think it's in London. Think about the Big Ben. You think it's just there for no reason? <laughs> like, like you see? Oh, we already sold out of the Amethyst. We already sold out of the Amethyst. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. We sold out of the Amethyst. But y'all still go check out the website. We just sold out the Amethyst, right? When will you make bracelets? I got bracelets coming in next weekend. How did they create electricity? Let me show you how did they create electricity. Let me show you. Let me show you, right? What y'all need to understand is... What y'all need to understand is... Understand that your technology... Your technology has... And, and look, let me tell you too, right? You can get milky quartz, right? This is milky quartz. This is milky quartz. If you go to ancient Egypt, you will see that these same figurines, these same figurines were literally all over Egypt and they used them for rituals. They used them for protection. A lot of y'all need to understand that anything quartz is powerful. Quartz is literally the strongest. So if y'all want to, y'all can go ahead and go get y'all milky quartz. The same thing, right? But let me tell you, right? Ain't it funny how people try to tell you, oh, crystals aren't powerful. Crystals aren't powerful. But it's literally proven that where did you find milky quartz and here's the thing too i'm about to tell you my friends actually mined the the milky quartz from south carolina so what you're getting what you're getting let me show you what you're getting is straight out of the mountain what you're getting is straight out of the mountain and you can tell look at it it's straight out of the mountain it's straight out of the mountain right and it's crazy because all of your electricity, your watches, your phones, your radios, all have quartz in them. You can quote me on that one. You can quote me on that one. All your electricity has quartz in it. All your electricity has quartz in it. And then they try to make you think that Crystals are powerful, but your electricity has quartz in it. You can quote me on that one, right? And let's talk about it. Copper. When you wrap copper around the quartz, that helps you to create energy, right? Look at this. Look at this pyramid that I have that I use to protect me. I don't have none of these on sale anymore. I think I have maybe cones, organite cones. But think about this, right? This protects me from all of the EMF frequencies. Also, Shungite. A lot of y'all, I got Shungite on my website too. A lot of y'all don't understand that your phones, your phones, and these new 5G, these 5G towers are very bad for you. Huh? Are very bad for you. Are very bad for you, right? So when you start to understand that, you, you start to understand, okay, cool, then I need to be protecting myself. Look at me. I understand that I'm about to get on the phone, on the phone, meaning I'm about to get on live with a whole bunch of people. So what do I do? I put protection on. I have black tourmaline on to protect myself because I, especially if you are an empath, if you are empath, if you are empath, you need to understand that you need to protect yourself the most, the most. That's why they tell you don't have sex with just anybody. Don't just be kissing on anybody. Don't just touch anybody. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because energy is very real. Energy is very real. And if you are, uh, somebody said empath. Okay. What is an empath? An empath is somebody who can feel the energies of others and is very sensitive to that. So meaning that I can walk to, I can walk into a party and feel the energy in the room. And I feel it through my solar plexus chakra right so if i don't have protection on myself i can allow the energy to affect me y'all be thinking that the battle is physical but it's actually spiritual it's actually spiritual exactly somebody said we we all are impacted but you got to understand the more higher up you get in your spiritual what what do evil i do protect you that i got one on to protect you right the more spiritual you get the more closer you get to the energy the more sensitive you get to energy the more sensitive why should empaths be more careful because you feel other people's energy and if you absorb other people's energy 
That is bad. That's why I stopped doing tarot readings. Because I would be doing tarot readings and I would finish with the readings. I'd be like, <sighs> because it's draining. It's tolling. It's tolling. It's tolling. Right? But y'all go ahead and I'm telling y'all, go get you Shungite. I got Shungite on my website. That is literally, I have it. It's wrapped up in a Hawaiian shell, meaning that this shell was actually taken off the beaches of Hawaii made with shungite and has crystals in it protect yourself my love y'all want to get guns and there's nothing wrong with getting guns y'all want to get y'all want to get uh physical protection but y'all don't got no no type of spiritual protection how that work how that work if you watched inception you would have realized that the guy literally said oh i have created walls of security into my mind because people want to enter your mind did you watch the matrix did you watch the matrix how come Neo, when he woke up, he saw that all these humans, their energy was being sucked by the system. Their energy was being sucked by the system. Right? So think about it. So in the Matrix... They're literally taking the energy from the bodies and you don't want to protect your energy. You do realize your energy is what creates, right? You do realize your energy is what manifests things, right? Hmm. Hmm. Why does energy affect you so much? Exactly. Your brain is literally a crystal, right? So if anybody wants to figure out what do I recommend getting okay here right here i'm about to tell you and all of these crystals are on my shop so you want to protect yourself you want to protect yourself from negative energy get you black tourmaline black tourmaline the reason why it's black is because it takes the negative energy and it transmutes it right it transmutes it into positive energy right somebody said do you know what shungite is yes i have shungite on my website right so then let's say you want to manifest right let me show you my crystal for manifestation is pyrite. Look at it. We talk about turning things into gold. This crystal is literally gold. Alchemy. If you want to manifest, get you. I have, labdor, I have labdorite on my website too. I have labdorite on my website too. But if you want to manifest, get you pyrite. Or you can get malachite, right? If you want to help with your, with, your, with, your, with your throat chakra, you feel like you're not able to communicate, go get you amazonite. What's your top crystals? My top crystals are literally the chef. Listen, I have this box, right? I have this box, right? Let me show you what my top crystals are. So I have this box and I keep my, my crystals in this box because I care about my crystals deeply. You know what I'm saying? So somebody say, what are your top crystals? I always keep, I always keep my pyrite on me. I always keep my pyrite on me, right? I even have another pyrite on my chest i have another pirate on my chest right see you later silver i have another pirate on my chest right and then i keep my dream amethyst because i'm so strong with my intuition my third eye my crown chakra because everybody wants to know how you opened your third eye and as you can see i'm very big on making it known in art i'm very big on making it known in art all my music yes all of this will be on my youtube all my music is spiritual all my music is spiritual right and then i keep my quartz on my neck you feel me and if anybody wants to know i do represent egypt very strongly this is the hoodie this is thought from ancient egypt period bro i don't play no games keep i keep my bracelets on me because i need to stay protected the higher up i go in spirituality the higher up i go the more sensitive i am to energy why i think erica badu covers her hair why do you think y'all said do you believe there's a messiah coming you are the messiah i don't mean to yell at you i don't mean to yell at you but you are the messiah you are the messiah i know there's something behind me that's me it's me my youtube is sticks river link link in the bio check out the crystal shop make sure y'all subscribe to me make sure y'all follow me on instagram because i'm gonna keep it a buck i'm gonna keep it up and i'm gonna keep sharing light I'm going to keep sharing light, period, period, yo, 
Because I'm passionate about this. My Aries moon coming out. I'm passionate about this, bro. I'm passionate about this. When your life change, when your life change because of the light, I guarantee you, you're going to be the same way. You're going to be the same way. When that light change you for everything, when you realize all your blessings came because you chose to follow the light and you gave yourself to the light, you're going to be the same way. I'm 21. I'm 21. I'm 21, bro. I'm 21. And I'm living this life and I'm living all my dreams, man. Look at me. I'm on here on TikTok spreading, spreading light and positivity, bro. That's all I ever dreamed of, to be out here spreading light and positivity. I appreciate that, y'all. Make sure y'all go check out my crystal shop, though. Make sure y'all check out my crystal shop. I really recommend y'all go get Milky Quartz. Uh, Milky Quartz is so slept on. But when you look up Milky Quartz, you'll see Milky Quartz is just as powerful as regular Quartz, clear Quartz. Y'all go get you some, some Milky Quartz, bro. Y'all go get you some Milky Quartz. This is Milky Quartz, too. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this is. Come on, man. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. This will be on my YouTube, y'all. This will be on my YouTube. How you can protect yourself without crystals. Make an altar. Milky versus Smoky. Smoky. I don't know much of much of the big difference between them. You can probably enlighten me on them. I, I'm going to do some more research. But I don't think... I, quartz in general usually works on the same chakras. Quartz in general. Advice for people who are new on their spiritual journey. So anybody that... And y'all guys can start asking me questions now. But ask them through the Q&A because that's how I'm going to answer them. Ask me questions through the Q&A. That's how I'm going to answer them. So when you are starting your spiritual journey the first thing that i recommend is know thyself now you may be like okay sticks what the hell are you talking about know thyself meaning start with your chart start with learning your astrology chart your natal chart right that is going to tell you the most about yourself because the only way you will be able to get through any of this world is to know who you truly are because if you don't know who you truly are everybody will be trying to tell you who you are and that's how you end up lost right so start with your chart start with figuring out um what's your angel number what's your what's your uh what's your numerology you know what i'm saying what's your life path number right are the crystals heavy um real crystals they should have some weight to them that's sad the matrix was actually a documentary yeah how do you tap more into your gifts and you you have to strengthen your intuition strengthening your intuition and by strengthening your intuition you're tapping in with your higher self now how do you strengthen your intuition through meditation there's also crystals that help you with your intuition such as quartz and amethyst labradorite is a great stone i actually have it in the link in my bio on my crystal shop right how did uh, how do you make an altar an altar you basically want to literally find a space what's up i got all the spice you basically want to find a space right that you're going to have sacred to you you want to put your like you know let's say um you see i'm obviously i like i i, I my ancestors are the ancient egyptians right so i'm going to get um statues of them and put them on my altar i'm going to find crystals i'm going to get i'm going to get candles you know basically showing love to them showing the love and the light that they deserve right Will, will this be live on your YouTube? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's your life path number? My life path number is seven. That's why my last music project was called seven. Because my life path number is seven. What does angel numbers try to tell? Angel numbers trying to tell you what you need to do, what you need to see, what you need to pay attention to. If you guys are trying to ask me a question, please ask me a question through the Q&A so I can right aren't these things you speak of what aren't these things you speak of tell me who i am they definitely help you figure out yes but if you are a life path number then i definitely recommend y'all go listen to um my project seven any recommended crystals to help with grounding tiger's eye if any of y'all have jobs where you or you know you're trying to stay more focused or you're trying to be more concentrating on things go get you a tiger's eye first of all i also want to tell y'all i'm so grateful for y'all 
And I want y'all to take a moment to show gratitude in this moment because there's some people who don't have phones. There's some people that don't have TikToks. There's some people that are doing massive shadow work. There are some people who are hurting right now. And guess what? You're here. You're on live. You're having fun. You're learning things. So just show some gratitude right now and really go thank your creator for what's going on right now. Because as of right now, there are so many people awakening. And that's a blessing. 162 people are on this live learning about spirituality so please take a moment right now and just say i am so grateful that's all you got to say just say i am so grateful please just say thank you i am so grateful the moment you show that gratitude you will literally have much more energy stones to get out of depression i always say i'm telling you the best crystal is amethyst amethyst and those black the black tourmaline Black tourmaline and amethyst. Black tourmaline and amethyst, right? Black tourmaline and amethyst, right? I see you got your download. So thank you, thank you, thank you. How do you tap more into your gifts? Meditation, right? Meditation is going to allow you to have a divine connection with your higher self. Your higher self is going to make you aware of your gifts, right? The more you tap in and you understand what you're... What you're doing in your meditations, the more you pay attention in your meditations, the more you meditate, the more epiphanies you're going to have. How do you cleanse your stones? You can get Palo Santo. Get Palo Santo or get Selenite as a crystal. Crystals, Selenite literally cleanses other crystals. That's why I have it on my, I have it on my altar. How do I meditate? Take some time by yourself and do a breathing exercise. You want to find a, a space where you are by yourself, quiet, and you want to sit there and you want to breathe in for four seconds. You want to hold it for four seconds. You want to release it for four seconds. And you want to hold it again for four seconds. The more that you focus on your breath, the more in the moment you will be. The more in the moment you will be, the better the universe can communicate with you. Because guess what? Now you're paying attention. Can you explain how to manifest with your dreams? The way that you manifest with your dreams is simply right before you go to sleep. You want to focus on your manifestation and then while you're headed to sleep your manifestation is going to enter your subconscious mind how do i find my life path number look up life path number and then it's going to take you to a place where you can search it up and you're going to put your number your, your birthday in do you do psychedelics i don't do, do psychedelics to open my third eye because opening your third eye is a you thing you can't go to any other tool to open your third eye will it help yes How do you program your crystals? Everything is intention. Everything is intention. Before I got on this live, I sat down and I said, universe, please use me at this time as an as a instrument. Speak whatever you need to speak. I am only here to allow you to work. And guess what? Here we are speaking all the things that you needed to hear. Somebody said, what is Life Path 22? You got to look that up. I am not going to know all of that. <laughs> yes, my third eye is definitely open. Listen, I literally have a song that says, mind awake, because I had the patience, time away to break up from the matrix, seeing them people confused, third eye closed, and they don't know what to do. I get on live every day, every day. If I miss a day, then it's only probably one day. But for the most part, I get on live every day. How do you get so powerful spiritually? By listening to the universe. The more that you listen to the universe, the more information they're going to give you, the more power they're going to give you. Any tips to help open your throat chakra? Go ahead and do some meditation and imagine you cleansing that throat chakra. Also, I have a crystal on my website that will help you with that called Amazonite. Can you start doing meditations on here? I don't want to do meditations on here because I feel like people will start to be very intrusive on my meditations. I feel like meditations need to be very personal and by yourself. What song did you just sing? That's my song called All Gas No Breaks. All gas, no brakes. Link in my bio. Click sticks is music. How do you speak your mind so easily? Um, I just use myself as an instrument. I'm not thinking. I, there's no time to think because guess what? Thinking stops you from allowing the universe to use you. I just let it flow. I'm very free spirited, so I let it flow. That's why I can just speak and speak and speak and speak and speak. Most people that you see who are frauds, they're like, uh, 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 actually, uh, because they have nothing to base that off of. I'm basing it off of experience exactly channeling do you have any book recommendations on spirituality power of now 
the power of now thank you for your lives y'all dig listening to them i appreciate that stony sending you so much love because you didn't have to take your time out to send me that love so i'm sending you love back i appreciate you and i'm very grateful for you is this a lonely journey yes it is <laughs> look at me i'm in a room and i'm by myself ain't nobody here with me ain't nobody here with me ain't nobody here with me it's by myself do you recommend any spiritual books power of now power of now what do you eat i eat fruits baby i just came off and i was eating um i, was, I just left here when i before i got on live i was eating grapes I appreciate y'all, man. Again. I don't eat meat. Again. Please go get y'all some milky quartz. Look at my skin. You think I'm eating meat? Look at my skin. You think I'm eating meat? I love you all, though. I love you all. Make sure y'all subscribe to me. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Don't be afraid to DM me. I love talking to you all. I love talking to you all. I'm about to head out. Make sure y'all check out my crystal shop. Get y'all some crystals. All right? Love y'all. I'm out. <laughs>